In this video, I want to show you how to find the zeros of a parabola using the TI-84 calculator. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to the y equals button. You want to put in your equation. My equation here is x squared plus x minus 6. So the x button here. And square plus x minus 6. Press enter. Okay, so x squared plus x minus 6. Go ahead and graph and press the graph button here on the right. Okay. So the zeros of a parabola is where they intersect the x-axis. So we have two of them in this case. So if I want to find each of those intersections, I can go to second and then trace. Option two for zero. They ask me for the left bound, so I'll move my cursor to the left side of that first intersection. Okay, so it's right above it, to the left side of it. Press enter. They ask me for the right bound, so I'll move to the other side of it. Okay, so the cursor's there now. Press enter. They ask me to guess, so I'll press enter again. So negative three, zero. Okay, so first x intercept is at x equals negative three. Now to find the other one, I'm going to do it again. So second trace. Option two for zero with a left bound. So I'll move my cursor to the left side of it, but close to it. Okay, so my cursor's there now. Press enter. And then the right bound. Move to the right side of it. So my cursor's here now. Press enter. Ask me to guess. Press enter again. So two zeros. So two comma zero. So my other x intercept is at x equals two. So those are my zeros of my parabola. Now another way you can do it, just go to second graph, they show the table of values, and you just find where y equals zero. And you can see here at negative three, y equals zero. And at when x is two, the y equals zero. So those are my two x intercepts. So the x intercepts occur when y equals zero.